but now Ryan has equaled your two goals. Do you feel any pressure to be the leading scorer now with Ryan two and you two? Any, any pressure? Ah, ouais, fait quoi, est-ce que tu sens la pression parce que c'est sûr qu'il a tout fait, mais que là, Ryan est à deux et toi aussi t'es à deux. Donc t'as la pression ou pas? Ouais, là j'ai la pression. Non, je... Ryan est beaucoup, effo... est beaucoup offensif. Voilà, il sait, il sait marquer, il sait défendre. Pour moi, c'est un... Un... un très bon contre-attaquant aussi. Donc euh... ouais, pourquoi pas, il peut marquer ses playoffs aussi. Ryan is really good uh, offensively and defensively, uh, but he's not, uh, he's not too worried about that. Yes. <laughs> hey, Max, this question is for you. Congratulations on the win, guys. Um, it, it, but it, it is a win, but you still have to win another game. I mean, the goals don't carry over, all that kind of stuff. So how do you look at this? Is this a one-off game and you throw it out and it doesn't count anymore? Do you, does this momentum carry forward? I know no one's been in this kind of series before, but how are you looking at it now? No, this momentum carries forward, but in the meantime, you're right on that part of the question. You got to turn the page, and uh, if, if by winning eight nothing today, ten nothing, twelve nothing, and you still got to go down there, and you do zero zero, it still goes to PK, and the game is one one. If you lose, you know what I mean. So, uh, yes, you got to take the positive. You got to take that momentum with you. Uh, but at the end of the day. Turn it has to be uh, the page has to be turned and uh, focus on a brand new, uh, brand new field, brand new game next week. Yes. Thank you. Uh, from Max as well. Um, they uh, they score both of their goals off of defensive mistakes, and uh, those are pretty much the only two chances that they had. Just what you were seeing defensively in front of you. You're right. You're right. Uh, I mean, in in the season, uh, sometimes you can't get away with those. When playoffs, no chance, no chance. And tonight we were able to score more than them, uh, obviously, and unlocked in the second half. Uh, but going forward, we need to be really good on the ball and uh, defensively because uh, this is the two chances that they have, and it ended up twice in their back in our net. That's the kind of night we have. Uh, second half, they're not getting chances. No. Yeah, yeah, we did really well uh, second half. Uh, they have one, one or two good crosses that Giorgio clears, and uh, the rest we, we had a good cover in behind. Uh, but you are right on this point where it's the two chances of the game, and, and it's that kind of night tonight. But uh, we got to tidy up these little details for sure going forward because it's going to be harder uh, on the road next next week, and uh, hopefully knock on wood going forward. You know. Denny, how good was it to score on that set piece? And just how's the work that you guys do during the week, uh, like that one play that that you did with Carlos? Sur le but, uh, sur le deuxième but avec Carlos, on avait différentes uh, options. J'avais l'option où Carlos centrait et j'avais l'option où j'ai vu l'espace et j'ai demandé à Carlos de me la mettre juste sur le côté et puis je frappe et puis euh, bah, grâce, à, grâce à la chance et grâce au travail, euh, le, le but vient ainsi donc euh, c'était magnifique pour moi et magnifique pour, sur Carlos. Yeah, there was that opportunity they were talking, uh, yes, we train, uh, they, they do train set piece, I'm on the end of it. But uh, they they had an opportunity to cross maybe, and then then he kind of saw uh, a shooting lane. So he said, just just touch it and work. And a bit of luck uh, got into the way there, and and it worked out really well for us. But uh, he saw a small opportunity, and that's the detail he, he took it. Max in Espanol. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the question again? <laughs> ¿Cómo se sienten después de esta victoria y lo que están haciendo eh, para iniciar así la, la postemporada? Uh, watch and learn. Okay, ready? <laughs> no, um, wow. no, el equipo es en, el grupo es en un momento uh, muy bien después de una partida así. La victoria es muy importante para la confianza y el, el, el lado del, del, de, la, de la cabeza y del mental. Pero ahora eh, la, la cosa más importante es de la partido que viene es la próxima semana. Es un una estadio que es difícil de, de vamos a Vancouver y ganar acá, aquí, o whatever. 
but <laughs> but eh, but uh, yeah, we el, el, el trabajo mucho uh, para esta esta semana y vamos a uh, adelante. Yes. Um, yeah, Denny. Obviously, the focus is on MLS Cup playoffs and everything. But before the match, you get the golden boot. You worked. 34 matches, regular season. What is that award, earning that title? What does that mean to you? Alors, avec toute la concentration, tout est sur les playoffs et la MLS Cup, mais t'as quand même gagné le Golden Boot sur les 34 matchs. Donc, recevoir ce trophée-là, comment tu te sens, et en même temps, c'est le fruit de tes efforts. Donc, ça a été un bon sentiment, j'imagine. Je me sentais très bien aujourd'hui. Voilà, je savais que j'allais recevoir le trophée aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, je voulais que ça soit un grand soir. Et voilà, aujourd'hui, ça a été un grand soir. On a gagné 5-2. Euh, J'ai marqué deux buts. Donc, voilà, je voulais terminer en beauté. Et c'est le fruit du travail euh, au quotidien. Et je suis très content d'avoir euh, eu ce Golden, uh, golden Boot. Il est super happy to receive uh, this, this honor tonight. And uh, he knew he was about to receive it beforehand. So, he wanted to to do something special in order to receive it. Uh, and by scoring two, uh, he, he underlined the, the the aspect of scoring those two tonight and receiving the golden boot uh, overall over uh, 34 games. Uh, and like he, like he said once again, it's really down to, to work and what's coming up. He put, he's putting the work in and uh, there's, there's, uh, there's the results at the end of the day. Hi, for Denny, you now have 35 goals in all competitions this year, the second most of an MLS player in a calendar year ever. The only player, of course, ahead of you being Carlos Vela. Is there any talk in the locker room that you're going to go catch him three goals away? You understand that you're at three goals. In the end, the most in the history is 38, and it's Carlos who has in a calendar annual. So, is it you have in mind? Is it you have seen? It's an objective, yes. Après, comme je l'ai dit, si l'équipe est bonne, euh, je devrais normalement être, euh, être bon. Et euh, comme je l'ai dit, euh, voilà, si, si je continue à marquer comme ça, c'est grâce à l'équipe, grâce euh, justement à l'ambition qu'on a. Donc euh, je peux le dépasser ou je peux être euh, égal à, à Carlos Vela. Uh... He had the, he has that goal in mind. That's his mentality. He has that goal in mind, uh, and, and uh, he's getting these chances. He's getting at the end of uh, these balls, and he's getting at the end of these actions with uh, with the collective um, because he trusts the system and uh, the teammates that are around him uh, is a part of the success uh, when it comes to scoring goals. But yes, he has that uh, that three more uh, in mind. Um, I hope it's okay to ask both of you the same question. Um, you've both had very different journeys this season. Uh, how do you feel you've grown as a goal scorer, as a keeper? Like where, where do you feel you are on your journey, and, and what's the next step for you? On a deux saisons comme ça, en toi et moi. Comment tu, comment tu senti au fur et à mesure que l'année se déroule, comment on a grandi au cours de la saison, à quel point est à l'aise, qu'est-ce qu'on, les challenges qu'on a eu, comment on a on a répondu à l'appel, mais euh, qu'est-ce qui nous attend enfin, C'est ça, ça, sa question. Je pense que la saison a été assez longue. Voilà, on a joué beaucoup de matchs en début de partie de saison. Et euh, on a perdu deux finales aussi. Je pense que c'est ça aussi qui, qui fait que on veut gagner cette MLS Cup pour oublier ces deux finales. On, je pense qu'on a la même mentalité, voilà, c'est de revenir plus fort à chaque match et de tout simplement gagner la MLS Cup pour pouvoir dire qu'on a fait une très bonne saison, que ce soit Max ou que ce soit moi. Donc, donc oui, on a ça en tête et voilà, on a une très bonne mentalité sur ce, sur ce, sur ce match-là. In the beginning of the, of the calendar, we had a lot of games uh, that, that uh, pile up, uh, huge schedule, it's been a long season. Uh, which is coming uh, slowly to uh, to an end with you look the MLS Cup Finals December 9. Um, we lost two finals this year, uh, which which we want to go all the way all the way up to the MLS Cup to erase these two finals. And in order to say that it was a successful year, we want to go all the way. And uh, it's a collective goal that everybody is working towards um, towards that goal. Everybody has that in mind. Uh, as for me. Um, 
as for you know, it's, he pretty much says it all. You gotta look at uh, you gotta look at what's ahead of us, and uh, potentially it can be four more games, and uh, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, not at all. Everybody has to put the, double the work and double the con concentration, uh, but it is something that uh, it is something that we we want all to achieve. And uh, on a personal note, uh, just being able to enjoy football back again is amazing, yeah.